welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacists from Boulder, Colorado, I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. We've got lines open for you. We've got a full board of... Uh, open lines. That's a uh, kind of an oxymoron. There we got. We have a. Uh, all our lines are open. Put it that way. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, health, wellness. If you have a success story you'd like to share. If you've read something or heard something in the paper or on the internet, or somebody told you about an ingredient or formulation you want clarification with, we can help you. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Of course, if you have questions about the longevity products or our Truth Skin Health products, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number today on the bright side. Today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. I'm on a mission, folks. I want everybody to understand that we're not sick. We're starving. We don't need to be fixed. We need to be fed. We don't need drugs. We don't need pharmacology. We need food and we need nutrition. And I'm on a mission to help spread the word and I need your help if you're interested. And if you want to make a little bit of money at the same time, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team and, and join me in my mission to educate the world about the importance and power of a good nutritional supplement program. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking about glucosamine. Specifically, we're talking about NAG, a souped up version of glucosamine, the well-known joint nutrient. I would venture to say most people have heard of glucosamine at this point. Most of the people listening to this program have probably heard of glucosamine. It's been in the news. It's been in the world of supplements now for probably going on 25 years or so. I think it came out, well, it's been out for a long time, but it got popular in the late 1980s and the early 1990s. Bodybuilders were using it, became popular as a supplement for arthritis. But nobody's talking too, people aren't talking too much anyway. You hear a little bit about NA glucosamine, N acetyl glucosamine, also known as NAG, which is like a high powered version of glucosamine. Like plain old glucosamine, NAG is a building substance. It's an anabolic substance. That means building. Anabolism is building, and glucosamine stimulates building, and it stimulates growth, and it stimulates repair. What glucosamine does, or NA glucosamine does, is it tells the body that a wounding has taken place. When you take a glucosamine supplement or when you eat cartilage, as in bone soup, the body senses that the glucosamine or the cartilage levels have gone up in the blood, and it interprets that as a sign that there's some kind of damage. After all, why would there be pieces of cartilage floating in the blood unless a little piece of cartilage has been torn off. The body doesn't know or it doesn't assume that we're supplementing with glucosamine. It, it assumes that there's a little piece of cartilage somewhere that has been torn off and is now floating in the blood. 
And when the presence of these components of cartilage are sensed in the blood, building and repair elements are triggered. Building and repair biochemistry is triggered. And this is relevant for all connective tissue. Connective tissue makes up about a quarter to a third of the body. Connective tissue is the stuff that's on, uh, the, the white stuff that's on a piece of steak, a piece of meat, if you, you know, the stuff that we don't like, the, they call gristle. That's connective tissue. And it's responsible for keeping the body and all of its organs and components linked together or connected to each other, hence the name connective tissue. The most well-known connective tissue is cartilage. And it has a cushioning and shock absorbing property. You'll find cartilage between things, between bones, between joints, in the elbows and the knees and the ribs, between the vertebrae in the spine, the vertebrae are the bones of the spine. You'll find cartilage cushioning each one of the vertebrae. It's also found in the lungs. It's on your nose. Your nose is largely made of cartilage, in fact, and your earlobes too. If you wanna, if you wanna know what cart cartilage feels like, just squeeze your earlobes. That'll give you a good sense of what cartilage is. Your earlobes are mostly cartilage. And and your noses as well. Cartilage is made up of very specialized cells called chondrocytes. C-Y-T-E always means cell, site, and chondro refers to cartilage. Chondrocytes are always making cartilage. Cartilage is always being produced uh, uh, from the chondrocytes. The chondrocytes are pumping out various factors that are uh, various building blocks or components of cartilage, collagen fibers, which is the main component of cartilage, protein sugar complexes like glucosamine, high aluronic acid. I absolutely, absolutely love this stuff as a supplement. It's not necessarily, high aluronic acid is not necessarily going to do you much good topically, and there's, we've talked about this before, there's a lot of skincare products being advertised as containing high aluronic acid. There are companies selling high aluronic acid serums for topical use. They don't do much good really, although they will soften perhaps the surface of the skin. But high aluronic acid and glucosamine and chondroitin, probably heard of that one. Uh, these are all components of cartilage, and when you take them orally, you can help build your cartilage. That's one of the neat things about supplementing with connective tissue or eating connective tissue in the form of bone soup. When you eat connective tissue and supplement with connective tissue, you make connective tissue. Now, there's a myth out there that says that you can't repair cartilage. I hear this periodically. In fact, I was on George Norrie yesterday, perhaps you heard me, and I was talking about repairing cartilage, and some guy wrote me a letter and he said, oh, you can't do that, you're some kind of quack. How can you tell people that you can repair cartilage? Because there's this myth out there that you don't repair cartilage. Well, that's a myth. The fact is that everything in the body repairs. You don't have the car, the cartilage you have today didn't exist uh, a year ago or two years ago. You're not walking around with the same cartilage your whole life. It obviously repairs. It just repairs slowly because it doesn't have a blood supply. So if anybody tells you you can't repair cartilage, they don't know what they're talking about. You can repair cartilage. Exercise will stimulate cartilage production. Eating, uh, eating cartilage, eating glucosamine will, all, will stimulate cartilage production. It is true there's no blood vessels in the cartilage to supply the, the, um, the cartilage-making cells, the chondrocytes with nutrients. So you get a slower buildup or a slower repair because of the lack of blood vessels. Cartilage will grow and repair more slowly than other tissues. And this is where that myth comes from. But you absolutely can repair cartilage. It's not true that you can't repair Repair it. In addition to cartilage, fat is connective tissue, blood is connective tissue, bone is connective tissue. That's very important. Osteoporosis is a connective tissue problem. It's not a calcium problem. Yes, calcium strengthens the bones, but if you have osteoporosis, you got a connective tissue problem. You know what? Without vitamin C, you can't make connective tissue. So vitamin C, as it turns out, is way more important for your osteoporosis than, than uh, calcium. Tell that to the next doctor who says, you've got to get on some calcium because your bones are weak. What about vitamin C? You ain't making bone without vitamin C. You're not making any connective tissue with vitamin C. And of course, hyaluronic acid and glucosamine and chondroitin, they're also very important for helping make connective tissue. Because aging is largely a function of connective tissue deterioration. You'll notice that folks who are older folks, and by older I'm talking 60s, and 70s start to stoop a little bit. Even if they're overall healthy, they'll have this kind of stooping uh, appearance to the way they walk and the way they hold their bodies, and that has to do with connective tissue deterioration. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll continue our discussion when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. 
you're back on the bright side. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. And we'll get your calls at in our next segment at the bottom of the hour, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're talking about here today, a comment, success story, or if you uh, have questions about the Longevity products or our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, you can find out all about our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you have questions about skin health, ingredients, formulations, or if you just have a comment, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you're in the Phoenix, Arizona area, I'll be doing talks uh, in two weeks, October 10th through the uh, 13th, or actually the 11th through the 13th of October in the Phoenix area, and we'll be getting you information on that. Uh, I'll try and get some information for you on that later today, uh, and then we'll be talking about that uh, as well for the next week or so, or a couple weeks or so. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking about connective tissue and glucosamine, NAG specifically, NAG NAG, a type of glucosamine that you don't hear a lot about. We were saying, uh, before we went to break, we were saying how aging is a function of, connect, largely anyway, a function of connective tissue breakdown or deterioration. And that means even if you don't have arthritis, even if you don't have any uh, 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 obvious health challenges, using glucosamine and NAG can just be a general anti-aging supplement. Hernias and prolapses are also functions of connective tissue breakdown, as is arthritis and joint disease. Leaky gut syndrome, we talk about that one a lot. Well, the gut is uh, strengthened the resilience and the and the robust nature of the digestive lining the digestive tract is largely a function of connective tissue and when your connective tissue breaks down you may be more susceptible to leaky gut syndrome and that can be uh, the source of all kinds of misery in fact pretty much all health challenges have some element of leaky gut syndrome one of the neat things about connective tissue is if your connective tissue is breaking down in one part of your body it's more than likely breaking down everywhere in the body the connective tissue is a system and it doesn't just break down in one part unless you have mechanical a mechanical injury or trauma if it's a biochemical breakdown aging or deterioration of the connective tissue and it's occurring in the bones it's also going to be occurring in the skin that's why folks who have osteoporosis are more prone to wrinkles or folks who have wrinkles are more prone to having osteoporosis likewise leaky gut syndrome if you have connective tissue breakdown in the joints, you're going to have connective tissue breakdown in the skin. If you have connective tissue breakdown in the skin, you're going to have connective tissue breakdown in the bone. If you have connective tissue breakdown in the bone, you, don't, you know where, where I'm going with this. If you have connective tissue breakdown in any part of the body, you probably have it everywhere. And that's why you want to start using cartilage containing... Uh, uh, supplements that contain cartilage or bone soup, which is a cartilage containing uh, food, or our bone broth protein, which is rich in these connective tissue building substances. If you don't want to go out and make bone soup, which is absolutely incredibly delicious, in addition to being very good for you, but if you don't have the time to make it, and a lot of folks don't have the time, I don't have the time to make bone soup all the time, get our bone broth protein. Go to Brightside Health Products. Uh, brightsidehealth.com and uh, get our bone broth protein. Jordan Rubin formulated it. It's loaded with glucosamine and other connective tissue building substances and it's specifically designed to build connective tissue. One of the most important aspects of glucosamine and NAG involves skin health. NAG is very important for the skin, especially if you're using alpha hydroxy acids. Many of you listeners are, have heard me speak about glycolic acid and lactic acid, and you're using a glycolic acid toner, you're going out and getting skin peels. Lactic acid, glycolic acid, acetic acid, which is found in vinegar, and tannic acid, which is found in red wine. All of these substances, alpha hydroxy acids, as they're known collectively, all of these substances play important roles in anti aging the skin. In fact, in my opinion, regular use of alpha hydroxy acids should be a key element of any anti aging skin care protocol. And yes, it's acidic, and yes, you want it acidic. Acid is stimulating. Inside the body, you want alkaline. The blood has to be alkaline. You don't want the 
the blood to be too stimulated. But on the outside of the body, you need stimulation in order to accelerate or, or turn on the growth of cells, to turn on the growth of connective tissue. Glycolic acid turns on the growth of connective tissue in the skin. And if anybody tells you, and I hear this periodically from people who should know better, skincare professionals, estheticians, even dermatologists, not to use alpha hydroxy acids, they need to go back to medical school or, or esthetician school. Because it turns out that when you apply acid substances to the skin, not battery acid, not sulfuric acid, but gentle acid substances like glycolic acid and lactic acid, you turn on connective tissue. You stimulate the, the growth of connective tissue. And also BHAs, beta hydroxy acids, do the same thing. Beta hydroxy acids, specifically salicylic acid, will stimulate the production of new connective tissue as well as moisture factors, as well as skin cells, same way lifting weights does. I would say AHAs and BHAs, alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids are like lifting weights for your skin and I consider them to be must have skin ingredients. You can make your own, you don't need anything fancy, you don't need to uh, go to the uh, uh, dermatologist or drugstore to get your alpha hydroxy acids. You can just use lemon juice, orange juice. I like using frozen orange juice. Frozen orange juice is like concentrated alpha hydroxy acid, specifically citric acid, which is an alpha hydroxy acid. You can get those frozen orange juice, uh, those cans of frozen orange juice in your freezer section, and you can make your own toners with orange juice, or you can scoop up some of that, uh, that orange frozen concentrate, and you can use it as a mask. Warm it up, maybe uh, beat in a little bit of egg or egg white in there, and you make it nice and firm. Makes a great mask. Same with lemon or lime concentrates. Fruits, vegetables, dairy products, all of these are good sources of alpha, and for that matter, beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid. They're ubiquitous, they're everywhere in nature. They're edible, they're non-toxic, and really, alpha hydroxy acid, specifically glycolic acid, has revolutionized the skincare business. Glycolic acid was really the first over-the-counter ingredient that could actually do something for your skin. When, it, when alpha hydroxy acids were first, uh, first came out in the form of fruition, I forgot who made fruition, I think it was S.D. Lauder made fruition, and then Avon had an alpha uh, glycolic acid product in the early 1990s, and it just changed everything in the world of skincare. Prior to alpha hydroxy acids, nobody could really get any uh, skincare products that could do anything for your skin. Uh, in fact, before glycolic acid became popular, there were really no estheticians. If you're an esthetician, I know we have a lot of estheticians that listen to this program. If you're an esthetician, you should know that your profession started with the uh, ad of the use of glycolic acid in the early 1990s. Before then, there were just cosmeticians. Only knock on alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids is the fact that they can be irritating, they can be sensitizing, and their effectiveness, as it turns out, is related to the fact that they are stimulating. So you got to have a little bit of irritation. You got to have a little bit of stimulation if you're going to get the benefits. But some people would rather not use glycolic acid or lactic acid or salicylic acid directly in their skin because it's irritating thus the importance of something that is called polyhydroxy acids. Not alpha hydroxy, not beta hydroxy, but polyhydroxy acids. Now these are larger chemical molecules and that makes them less irritating and less sensitizing to the skin than the smaller and more active glycolic acid or alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids and that is where NAG comes in. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll continue, uh, we'll just talk a little bit more about NAG in the skin, and we'll uh, finish up tomorrow, and then we'll get your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We are back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Longevity products or anything we're talking about or the True Skin Health products or Truth 5% Retinol Gel, you can find that at truthtreatments.com, by the way. Truth 5% Retinol Gel if you're dealing with acne blemishes and you want them gone. If you want to prevent acne blemishes, if you want to prevent the formation of wrinkles and fine lines, retinol is the only ingredient that has been definitive Definitively, definitively shown to help reverse wrinkles. It's, in fact, it's an FDA indicated substance, not in its retinol form, in its retinoic acid form, but the body can very efficiently, the skin can very efficiently make its own retinoic acid from retinol. 
Retinol 5% gel, Truth Retinol 5% gel is made without preservatives or fragrances or fillers or waxes or oil or emulsifiers or surfactants or water or nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want like all our Truth Skin Health products. If you've tried to use Retin-A or retinoic acid products in the past and you found that you could not tolerate them, you definitely want to check out our Truth 5% Retinol gel at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. By the way, if you can't use, if you find that your skin is very very sensitive to ingredients. If you're one of those folks that has sensitive skin, I just have really sensitive skin, the odds are very good that you are having a essential fatty acid problem. The skin becomes sensitized under conditions of EFA deficiency. Now this can be due to lack of intake of EFAs, which I would venture to say if you're not supplementing, you're probably deficient in EFAs, and most people aren't supplementing. Or it can also have to do with a lack of or a problem absorbing fats from your diet. If you have had a gallbladder removed, or if you uh, have intestinal problems, or a pancreatic issues, or if you're not producing enough stomach acid, you may not be absorbing your fats. And if you're not absorbing your fats, your skin skin is very likely going to be sensitive. This is one of the major reasons why people can't use uh, alpha hydroxy acids or retinoic acid. So if you find that your skin is super sensitive, everything you put on your skin makes you get rashy or broken out, you might, might want to consider getting on your ultimate EFAs and making sure that you're absorbing your fats as well using uh, our ultimate enzymes, using lipase, L-I-P-A-S-E, pancreatic enzymes, bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts, as well as lecithin. Okay, a couple stories I want to get to, and then we'll get your calls here. So hang on. If you're, uh, if you're on hold, we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. Uh, let's see here. This one is from the journal Scientific Reports. Resveratrol can help reduce inflammation, study finds. And, of course, resveratrol is found in red wine and grapes. Resveratrol is also found in the Restart Your Life products. The, uh, what is it? The RYL 500, I believe, contains resveratrol. Resveratrol is found in very tiny amounts in uh, wine and in grapes, but if you supplement with resveratrol, you can get some pretty darn good benefits from this stuff. It's anti-inflammatory. It's anti-aging. Um, it's got a lot of, it's one of the reasons why wine is, uh, why uh, a lot of folks attribute health benefits to wine. A lot of that has to do with the resveratrol. I love this one. This is from the University of Iowa. Parkinson's disease protection may begin in the gut. How do you like that? Where have you heard that before? Parkinson's disease is a digestive issue. Quote, your gut may play a pivotal role in preventing the onset of Parkinson's disease. Unquote. Now, they've come up with all kinds of fancy, fancy schmancy reasons, but the fact of the matter is, my friends, all disease, chronic degenerative disease, is going to have a digestive component. In fact, in my opinion, more than likely, it begins in the digestive tract, and I know we talk about the digestive system over and over and over again multiple times a day on this program, but you cannot have a discussion, a legitimate discussion about health and anti-aging and wellness and feeling better if you do not address gut health. And if you don't believe me, just fast for two or three days. If you have a, a multiple sclerosis or an autoimmune health issue or uh, 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 heart disease or whatever, if you have any kind of, any kind of inflammatory pain, uh, uh, painful health challenge, fast for a couple of days and watch what happens. You will notice that your symptoms will start to subside. Our inflammatory and immune system becomes activated even when we eat well. Even if we're eating spinach and lettuce, we get at least a temporary a surge in activity uh, in the activity of the immune system and the inflammatory system, but most of us aren't eating well. And when we eat crappy, you really get into inflammatory health issues. And this is a big, huge, number one probably, number one health challenge that we have to deal with is how we eat and how we support our digestive health. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's welcome Mary to the bright side. What is up, Mary, in Oregon? How you doing? Hi, I've actually got two questions. Um, well, we got full, nobody's on the line, so you can take your time, Mary. This, oh, this will okay. be the Mary and Ben show for a little bit. Okay, how was Alaska? <laughs> oh, I loved Alaska. It was awesome, 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 beautiful. I went, I, you know, I don't know if we have any listeners in Alaska. We never get calls. I never get letters from Alaska. But one of the neatest things about Alaska is there's no traffic, and there's Ooh. no rush hour, and you don't have to wait in line at the bank or at the gas station. There's never any. There's never any lines. And of course, it's, it's unbelievably beautiful. I mean, it's like Colorado on steroids. 
It's like a mega extra super duper beautiful version of Colorado and Colorado is pretty stunning. But Alaska is just beyond description. So what's going on? How can we help you, Mary? Question number one. Um, so you talked in recently in a podcast that uh, for those of us who are eating ketogenic, we should do five tablespoons of carbs max. So d does that mean I should only eat five tablespoons of vegetable a day? No, because vegetables contain more than just carbs. In fact, in fact, veg when I talk about five tablespoons of carbs, I'm talking about digestible carbs, not indigestible carbs. Fiber is an indigestible carb, and much of the component of vegetables are fiber. Of course, you'll also find protein in vegetables, and um, depending on the kind of vegetables you're eating, you'll, you might find some fat in there as well. Uh, so, no, uh, that doesn't mean five tablespoons of vegetables. You probably get, you could probably do eight or nine tablespoons of vegetables because not all your vegetable is carbohydrate. Boy, it's a good thing I called, isn't it? <laughs> yes, exactly. And vegetables should be the key element of all diets, in my humble opinion. Vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. You want a pound of vegetables for every 50 pounds of body weight minimum a day. So that means if you're 100 pounds, and I think you're probably about 100 pounds, right, Mary? Two pounds of vegetables is what we're looking at. Thank you. All right. What's going okay. on? What else? Um so then with the bone broth protein powder, I'd like have to... You, have you used it? Have you uh, gotten it yet? Yeah, I'm using it all the time, and, and I ran out of uh, bone soup, and I was going to just not use bone soup. No, I, it's not a replacement. It's not a replacement. Why, that's why I'm calling. I want calling no. to find out the comparison. If I it's not that. a replacement. The bone soup is going to be different. The bone soup is going to be less protein, and it's going to be more um, glucosamine and chondroitin, these, these complex sugar molecules. Um, which now, Did you buy the bones? You're doing our bone broth protein? Yes. yes. How do you like the taste? Oh, I absolutely love the vanilla and yeah. the pure. Yeah. The chocolate is way too sweet. Yeah, you so don't want the I, chocolate? I just make my own. If you want to make it super ketogenic, mix it with coconut milk or uh, uh, coconut milk or almond milk. And that'll right. also make it nice and creamy. And crack an egg in there. Don't forget to crack an egg. Always when you're making a protein smoothie, crack an egg in it. And if you can do nutritional yeast, some people don't like the taste of nutritional yeast. I find it extremely delicious. That'll also bump up the nutritional value of your uh, of your smoothie. Hang on, Mary. Got to take a break. If you got anything else, otherwise uh, we'll let you go. But uh, hang on if you like, and we'll come back uh, and finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or our Truth Skin Health products or anything we're speaking about today, 844-236-6010. And if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and take a specially long look at our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Omega six healing cream and truth balm you know what that's all you need for your skin folks one of the neat things about uh, our true skin health products is they're minimalist if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to have a whole bunch of products and you don't need a whole bunch of products do you think the skin under your eyes is has, is made up of different stuff than the skin on your big toe or on the bottom of your foot a little thinner maybe but the skin itself is the same skin eye creams are some of the silliest dumbest products on the planet you know, I've ripped on moisturizers a lot on this product because they are silly products as well. There's no such thing as a moisturizer because moisture is water. And nobody's putting water on their skin. Water is drying, as it turns out. So moisturizing creams are just a, basically an old technology that's wax and oil and, and, and water, not to mention preservatives and sometimes fragrances and emulsifiers and all kinds of crap, and they don't do any moisturizing. And eye creams. What do you think an eye cream is? Eye cream is just a way to extract more money from you because you can get a lot of money for an eye cream. Companies sell eye creams for hundreds of dollars for a quarter ounce because somehow, for some reason, we believe that you can put something on your eyes and change the texture of the, the skin or change the quality of the skin. The only thing, period, that will change your skin, period, 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 only thing that will change your skin 
from a topical perspective that will really change the viable living skin cells, whether they're deep in the skin, in the, we're, uh, the cells that are making fibers and moisturizer, moisture factors. Yes, there are cells that make fibers and moisture factors or the skin cells that are actually growing and protecting the skin. The only thing that will stimulate those two cells to do their business, to grow and divide and, and uh, produce um, extrude factors are vitamin C and vitamin A. Now, there are probably some substances that will do it in a Petri dish, in a laboratory, but in your skin, in vivo, as they say, in real life, vitamin A and vitamin C are it. And it doesn't matter where the skin is. And that's why I created my True Skin Health products with lots of vitamin A and lots of vitamin C, because that's all you, shouldn't, that's all you need. So you don't need an eye cream and a moisturizer and a, 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 a crepe, a, a skin for crepey necks. I've seen that now. There's commercials for that. You don't need a special foot cream. It's all the same skin. So why would you need a special foot cream and a special eye cream? If you're interested in minimalist products, if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to have a whole bunch of skincare products on your shelf, get our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, or our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and then toss in some Truth 5% Retinol gel because you need that retinol for anti-aging and stimulating the production of tissue, which is what anti-aging is all about. And speaking of anti-aging, this is an article from... Uh, from uh, the Osteoarthritis Research Society International. I love this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Exercise-driven metabolic pathways and healthy cartilage. That means exercise stimulates the production of cartilage. Tell that to the next person who tells you that you can't stimulate the production or you can't grow cartilage. Conclusions of this article, which was uh, published in July of this year. The find, uh, our findings highlight the, uh, that exercise is a robust transcriptional regulator. That means turns on genes, that exercise will turn on genes, specifically the genes of a wide array, this is a quote, of metabolic pathways in healthy cartilage. That means get yourself in the gym. You don't even need to get yourself in the gym. I like doing an exercise when I'm sitting around, just standing up and sitting down and standing up and sitting down. Do it super slowly, super slowly. If you're sitting in a chair right now, try to get uh, into a standing position very, very slowly. Take 15 seconds or so. Take 30 if you can. Most people can't do 30, but take 10 seconds or 15 seconds to stand up really slowly. If you go really, really slowly, if you go slowly enough, you'll feel your thighs are starting to shake and your hammies are starting to shake, your glutes are starting to shake. All of that is a sign that muscle growth is being stimulated. And all you gotta do is do it a few times, twice, three times. Okay, here's a good one. I love this one. Study reveals a biological link between stress and obesity. If you can't lose weight, the chances are pretty good you're secreting lots of cortisol. You're in stress mode. One of the things the body will do, one of the ways the body will protect us, the body's always looking to protect us or protect itself. One of the things it does when it's under stress is it puts, keeps fat on the body. Because to the body, one of the major stresses is a famine. So when cortisol levels go up because you just opened up your credit card bill or you're dealing with some kind of personal issue, or if you have an inflammatory health challenge and your, uh, and your cortisol levels go up, your body's going to keep fat on. And it's going to be very difficult to lose weight. So if you can't lose the weight or if you're one of those folks who's lost a bunch of weight, if you had to lose, say, 200 pounds or 150 pounds or 100 pounds, and you lost the first 50 or 60 or 70 real easily, but now you can't lose the rest, think cortisol. Cortisol. cortisol will keep a stress hormone that is will keep weight on here's another thing cortisol does that a lot of folks don't recognize and that'll, that is it'll raise your blood sugar and so if you're a diabetic and I hear this all the time in fact I heard it uh, a couple days ago on a presentation that I did oh I'm eating I'm staying away from sugar I'm not eating carbs I'm, I'm ketogenic I'm low carb but I can't get my blood sugar down well guess what you probably got a cortisol problem, and it doesn't have to be emotional or psychological stress, although that is certainly a factor. It could be physiologic stress. Exercise will raise your cortisol. You can leverage the power of cortisol first thing in the morning if you jump on a rebounder. If you do some kind of exercise, some kind of strenuous exercise for two minutes, it doesn't have to be a lot, just two minutes or three minutes, you'll bump up your cortisol and you'll wake up. It's natural coffee. We get a surge of cortisol anyway first thing in the morning if we're healthy. As we age, we don't get that same surge of cortisol. But you can, you can jack up your cortisol intentionally by doing a little bit of exercise. And that's why you don't want to exercise, by the way, too close to bedtime. 
because you don't want to jack up your cortisol. Here, uh, another, another reason why the blood sugar goes up and why folks can't lower their blood sugar if they're diabetic, I know there's a lot of you out there, you're, you're going low carb. In addition to cortisol, uh, protein can get broken down and turned into sugar and very efficiently. A lot of folks are going ketogenic. I talked to uh, somebody earlier uh, earlier today, this morning, who uh, was going ketogenic but can't get his carbs down. Well, turns out he's eating a lot of protein, eating too much protein for, for his needs. When I say too much protein, I mean he's not using the protein. So when protein isn't used to build muscle, if you're not, if you're not anabolic, if you're not lifting weights or doing resistance training or healing from something, and all that protein is going to get turned into sugar first, and then it's going to get turned into fat next. And that sugar, uh, when it gets turned into sugar, that can raise your blood sugar as well. So if you're trying to lose weight but you can't, think cortisol. If you're trying to lower your blood sugar and you can't, think cortisol, and also think perhaps that you're ingesting too much protein. I don't know if you saw this one. This is from Scientific Reports. The spice of life, cinnamon, cools your stomach. Adding cinnamon to your diet can cool the body by up to two degrees, according to research from Scientific Reports. Cinnamon is a very, very interesting substance. It's super tasty. It's a great way to wean. Using cinnamon is a great way to wean yourself off of sugar. If you mix cinnamon with stevia, it has a awesome kind of sweet cinnamony flavor that is great in in a hot cocoa or in cider or in on top of fruits of course you got to be careful with your fruits and for that matter uh, you don't want to be putting a lot of, uh, of uh, sugar you, uh, hot sugar in your hot cocoa sometimes hot cocoa comes with sugar but if you just do straight cocoa and put in a little stevia with a little bit of cinnamon and maybe even some nutmeg that is super delicious and it's also really good for your stomach and also in your digestive system and also cinnamon is uh, anti-diabetic on its own cinnamon has uh, has uh, insulin stabilizing and insulin lowering and insulin strengthening properties that's plain old cinnamon you guys it doesn't take a lot of uh, it doesn't take a lot of struggle to be healthy you don't have to be a, a zen monk you don't have to abstain to stay healthy staying healthy is not a difficult it matter because the body is designed to be healthy in fact i would venture to say that our unbelievably epic health ch health crisis in this country of biblical proportions a health a health challenge that is occurring a health crisis that is occurring despite the fact that we have more doctoring per capita than any other country in the history of the planet it doesn't have to be and the reason it doesn't have to be is because the body is a healing system it is designed divinely to heal itself of course it needs raw materials to do its work it needs some building blocks got to be spiritually correct, mentally correct, and emotionally correct. And, of course, you need to get on a good nutritional supplement program because you ain't going to get the good stuff, at least in generous and, and in, in the right amounts from your foods. If you want to learn more about nutritional supplementation for health, check out my website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or give the longevity folks a call at 866-735-2470. Don't forget about our, about our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourself an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.